Gotta love depressing music. Let me turn that down a little. Double viewing again. Thank you very much. Hello. I'm very low down here. Move that here. Let me move this down here. Hello. How are we today? 80. Thank you for popping up. Very glad to have you on the stream. I didn't know my buttons were just a little bit low there. I just came out of the shower. So, how are we all doing? Simmering! Hello, hello. I have not had yet a chance to watch your Prisoner of Azkaban playthrough for the PS2. I apologize for missing those streams. Uh, I've been out and about quite often. Work has been changing my schedule up, and uh, I've been helping out a friend move. Apparently, a, a childhood friend of mine is moving to, I believe he said, Michigan. So, I've been helping him move on and off on the days that I don't have work, so... Or on the day that I didn't have work today. Whereas yesterday I did have work, even though Saturdays are my day off. So, hey, there we go. Oh, I tell you what, I'm very tired. <laughs> not, like, not sleepy tired. But tired. Exhausted. Like Ron, you know. But not actually going to sleep, more mentally exhausted. But how's everybody doing? Oh, there's your camera. <laughs> how's everybody doing today, though? Uh, they've. We're low energy and relaxing. Ooh, perfect. I'll probably watch that tonight as I'm, uh, you know, calming down for the night. Um, so, Aiden, how are you today? Hopefully, things are going uh, good so far, I hope. I uh, can't sleep now. We got some potter to do. Yeah, I'm not sleeping anytime soon. Don't worry. Usually I sleep around 4 a.m. And, and considering the fact these are this is an 8:30 stream, 4 a.m. Yeah, that's the uh, I meant it. So. Mm. so I've already eaten today. I've had uh, about eight slices of pizza, no joke, um, and exactly two strawberries. It's a very specific thing to say, but yeah, I've had two strawberries and two uh, slices of pineapple and eight slices of pizza so I'm good as far as meals go however today we are going to be drinking some mandarin orange sparkling water and on the side here I am having a little bit of dessert we're having some double chocolate or double cherry chocolate chunk ice cream made by crystal brand so uh, that's another childhood favorite of mine I remember uh, before I moved out of my childhood home um, back when I was 19 I believe um, that was one of the ice creams that got me through most of the summers. Uh, that and the lemon pie ice cream. So, double cherry chocolate chunk ice cream is fantastic. Uh, I missed Wednesday, Cage. Had a cousin's party. I caught the end to say hi. That's true, you did. I haven't finished uh, POA yet. I think I have 45 minutes left. It's a very quick game, isn't it? On both the PS, uh, PS2 and the PC, I've noticed. Very quick. Um, I believe we finished about half the game already in one sitting um, for the PC side, so, yeah. Uh, also, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, up on top up there, you might notice a little bit of a scrolling text now. We have every single person uh, popping up on stream uh, who has followed us and became some friends here. Um, every single person's name from the very first follower onward is now up on top they're scrolling by so that'll always have their names there until the end of time or at least until you guys find someone uh, a little bit a little bit more energetic than me <laughs> but um otherwise uh say hello to the latest follower which is cheese lover 66 they showed up on the previous stream and we had a grand all time um they opened up uh, a few options on the stream lab side um so yeah, we uh, have some commands you might be able to play through with. I'm not quite sure if you like um, if you like some memes here. If you like a little bit of uh, laughter, we have uh, let me see here comedy. We have this little thing right here, which allows you to access a place uh, a playlist of mine of uh, a conglomeration of uh, comedic videos that I have collected over the years. Um, through either just YouTube recommendations or by friends uh, sending me things as well. If you guys would like to even visit our Discord, I know most of you are already on there. Uh, we do also have a link in the comments as well for the Discord channel as well. So we've got a few things popping up. If you'd like to uh, say 
Uh, cheese, by all means, put down cheese on there. It'll be a, a cheese command. I'm not even joking. Um, if you'd like to hug someone, there's a hug command now. There's a few things on there you can fool around with. I haven't filled it out, filled everything out quite yet, but uh, we are getting there. If you guys want a very other, uh, er, the if you guys like a particular custom command, please let me know, and I'll pop some on here for you guys. Um, it was a very event. Oh yeah, yeah, you were telling me about that. Um, very eventful party. Uh, I blacked out about 3 a.m. Woke up on a sofa with my aunt, with my auntie and my mom's best friend. Yeah, you were telling me about that. Uh, <laughs> very interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, Lurk now has a little command thingy. Thank goodness. Um, we have hugs. We have uh, a death count, which we'll be using at some point for a game that you know, takes a, quite a bit out of us. Um, we have an uptime command, which allows us to check how long the stream has been going for. Um, Discord cheese, uh, comedy. But yeah, uh, also we do have, oh yes, 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 yes. Good idea, let me add that real quick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oops, oh, there goes a the quarter. That's what I get for putting money on the edge of the thing there. Sure, is that the right thing of a bobber? Hold on. Let me just type that in real quick. Am I correct? I am correct. As I should be. Okay, I think I spelled that correctly. If you'd like to test that out, you can go ahead and type in simmering minus the zero one. Just put simmering. And you'll have a custom command for yourself now. Look at that. Take a gander. That's so cool, though. You can watch this stream now. Yes, indeedy. Yes, you can. You can sit back and relax. Of course. Of course. I know you missed the last stream of POA for spoilers, but you pretty much done it now. I mean, most people already figured out Harry Potter at this point. Like, come on. <laughs> like, Aiden, I know you're here for the Kingdom Hearts streams for the very first time, but most people uh, are already uh, well aware of the Harry Potter series, at least. Um, I have for one for you as well. Hey! Thank you very much. Yeah, you were mentioning that. You had an explanation mark bow tie. I'll have to test that out next time I'm on your stream. Do a little bit of self-advertising for myself there by just <laughs> typing my little thing. Ah, oh, goodness. But yeah, so today we are going to be playing Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, last stream, we made it up to the third spell challenge, and uh, then we figured out that there's a hole in the middle of the Whomping Willow. So, went down there because Ron got dragged down by a dog, because his rat is a rat. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be figuring out some things there. Uh, KH's big games for Harry Potter is just universal at this point. Yeah, quite true. Quite true. Very, very true. Uh, so tomorrow I do have work, but Tuesday onward I am taking a little bit of a vacay from work again. Um, I'm getting the uh, the second uh, what do you call it the uh, the second COVID shot on Monday. So uh, I'm gonna do that and then you know work my shift and then come home and then 
I'm off for quite a few days, so I'll be able to stream on some off days and uh, play through some stuff. Since I missed a few streams, I am going to be playing through some stuff on the unscheduled days just to get us back to where we need to be. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see my screen. I was watching someone play Sorcerer's Stone. He kept calling it that hated it. Aww. Or he kept saying that he hated it? That sucks. Come on now. Who hates Harry Potter? Come on. Well, okay, I, I take that back. A few people hate Harry Potter, but, you know. I like it. We all like it here. Uh, I was like... I'm gonna call a second one Room of, Se Room of Secrets. Oh my god. Mm-mm-mm. Some people. Oh, shoot. Um, let me check something real quick. And of course, if you're unfamiliar, this is Shion's theme. This is a character's theme uh, for a future character in the Kingdom Hearts series. Um, we'll be getting to in about two games. So, uh, you know, spoiler theme. But I love this piece, my god. All right. And of course, we have not forgotten. We have not forgotten. The amazing, the wonderful, the fantastic Justice Bean Pillywickle, AKA Ben, is here with us on stream as well. Can't stand it, JK, write it as philosophers just deal with it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, most Americans are a little bit dumb. You ask, a, you ask, um, I'm pretty sure that if you, if you ask, um, somebody here what a philosopher is, they're not going to figure it out. But if you ask someone who a sorcerer is, they're definitely going to figure it out real quick. But... The thing is, there's a huge difference between a philosopher and a sorcerer, and most people would probably put sorcerer akin to a wizard, so it kind of loses its power in the first place, so... I completely understand what philosopher means, but that's just uh, the name. Yeah, exactly, exactly, but most people have not even been introduced to the word philosopher here in the, in the States. We're a little bit dumb over here. Anything outside of our own culture, outside of uh, McDonald's and apple pie, and we kind of get very lost very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it. Simmering. Oh, you already know who Shion is, huh? Oh, that's right, because you have played through the games. Yeah. You played through most of them. Hmm. God, that ice cream is good. Also, yeah, short hair. Oh, my God. No, I did not get a haircut. I am simply vibing from the shower. That's all. Let me turn on the... We got some light. There we go. So I'm actually thinking about moving the light from over here in this little corner. So I have this big old light over here. Thinking about, and I have a fan over here. I was thinking of switching them around. You know, put the light over here, make it a little bit brighter over here, and then move the fan over here. Thinking about, because I already have this light right here, but I, I like having a shadow. Oops. So I'm thinking about putting that light over there. Have the light focused on the left hand side, or your guys' is right. Your guys' is right. My left. There you go. Uh, I played all the number ones and recom, but I know the stories of the other games. Okay, cool. Cool. Very cool. Hmm. So, there's not much modding we can do for Kingdom Hearts for PC, unfortunately. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3 is being heavily modded right now, but we're nowhere near that game. Um, so as far as mods go for Kingdom Hearts, um, it unfortunately won't be anything as crazy as um, uh, the Kingdom Hearts 1 modded run, which was absolutely fantastic. We will be getting back to that for one more episode, by the way. But um, as far as Kingdom Hearts goes, for the PC versions of the game, 
Um, Chain of Memories, we're going to go back into and basically max out everything just to speed run through it in one go. I, I can actually beat that game in like three hours um, if it's uh, cheated. So we're going to go ahead and just like destroy the game and then that'll be it for Chain of Memories. We'll go on to Kingdom Hearts 2, which is, um, for in the most case, everyone's favorite Kingdom Hearts game is Kingdom Hearts 2, and there's many reasons why. It was a heavily well-done game, very balanced, um, fantastic graphics, uh, especially for its time. Uh, world building was really well done. Character development, fantastic. So, yeah, 2 one, three is my favorite, is my rank for KHS, yeah, see? Um... But, um, yeah, as far as uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 goes, there is a working alpha on the uh, PS2 version of the mod, which was a um, randomizer mod. That is currently in the works. It's being alpha tested as we speak, so um, hopefully it should be done soon, and then we're going to be able to be uh, playing through a randomizer mod that randomizes all items all earned abilities, all level ups, and I believe bosses as well. Um, which could be dangerous because uh, playing the tutorial, we could technically get Sephiroth. And uh, I ain't about that. <laughs> um, we could we could essentially break the game or the game could break us. Oh God, Dance Water Dance and Get Upon the Hydra's Back. Both fantastic uh, references, by the way. Uh, I've been reading The Witcher at the moment. Very nice. Jump back into Witcher 2 and 3 games. There's, uh, there's the next couple of months sorted. So, if I were to jump into The Witcher, I know a lot of people say that Witcher 3 was their first uh, Witcher experience. Would you say that uh, I would have to play the... Is it like, um... Is it like the Harry Potter games where I have to start from the beginning to understand it? Or is it like the Final Fantasy games where I can just jump in on any particular game and not have to worry about losing out too much on on uh, understanding the, the content that I'm playing, just out of curiosity? Story carries over, okay. So would you recommend me playing um, um, Witcher, the, the first Witcher then? Witcher 1 is rough now. Well, hey, I'm all for rough, I'll tell you that. All for it. They follow you, get asked questions at start of 3 about 2. Oh, interesting, okay. Witcher 1 can be missed. Understandable, all right. Hmm. Maybe I'll take a gander on those games at some point. So I just love this ice cream. Oh my god. Or if you're on PC, you import save. Oh, good idea. I didn't think about that. I recommend watching lore videos on on the books and Witcher 1 game and jump in at 2. The games are sequels to the books. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So what does the uh, Netflix show take place? Because uh, I haven't touched that series solely for the fact that I know nothing about the Witcher uh, as far as the books or the movie. So I... Uh, books or the game, sorry. So where does the show take place in the uh, timeline? A few characters that appear in three, depending on choices from two. Okay. Uh, and the books are all sequels. Interesting. Netflix is the loose adaptation of the books. I think Netflix show is the first book. And I mean very loose. All right. Uh, maybe I should take a gander at the books then. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, God. The music can be heard in the... Microphone, you might be hearing doubles there. Um, all right, let's go ahead and switch us over to a little bit of uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, shall we? Uh, they change a lot on screen to books, but same premise. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting.
Where is... Ah, there it is. It's going to be very interesting to uh, just switch over to Goblet of Fire here soon, because once we're done with Prisoner of Azkaban, we're playing through the PS2 version. Once we're done with the PS2 version, then we are playing through Goblet of Fire, and Goblet of Fire onward will be uh, completely uh, one-offs. So we'll be playing through them, but we won't be playing through them a second time. So no modded runs uh, for those games onward, and unfortunately... Um, no switching to a different version of the game because they will all be uh, from Gob Goblet of Fire onward matching the console and the PC version. So that'll be very interesting to, to jump into in a way. Um, oh, did he? Interesting. Uh, no talking for 90 minutes before game. Yeah, no, we're not doing that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was nice. We had a nice little let's chat le uh, last time that uh, Aiden missed out on, but uh, no, if we're gonna do a let's uh, a let's chat, then we'll go ahead and do a let's chat. But other than that, I don't think we have we have a let's chat. Uh, we don't we don't have that kind of a thing scheduled yet. Um, I'm glad that he's doing a. Uh, that's how Luna Lovegood didn't it? How Luna Lovegood got uh, got on the roll? She was a huge fan of Harry Potter, um, and uh, apparently, if she beat her anorexia, uh, she'd be she'd be the perfect. You know, she she'd be on board, and she beat her anorexia and now she's the best Luna out there um but I'm glad that he's he was able to get it the part that he wanted because he was a fan uh, fuck the Goblet of Fire <laughs> yeah I know a lot of people don't like the Goblet of Fire I don't like it in, in certain aspects I like it in others yeah um based his Geralt on the games interesting interesting uh, he's a book fan too. Very nice. He play. He based his voice on game girl, not whole part. Interesting. I like. He tries to do the game voice. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. I wonder if it's gonna let us load this time. I never played a Harry Potter game past Prisoner of Azkaban. Really? Oh, you're in for a treat for some of these games. For sure. Um, like uh, Aiden mentions in a few streams, the uh, Deathly Hollow games are basically Call of, Call of Duty. I'm not even joking. Um, <laughs> I cannot wait. Those games were freaking awesome, and I don't think there was, um, I don't think there were enough enemies in those games. Like, I could go on for hours but they the the levels took they didn't take long enough because it's, it's act it's really like <laughs> freaking black ops like i'm not even joking like some some spells are full on machine guns some of them are you know your your potions are grenades smoke bombs um flashbangs like it's it's freaking yeah it is harry potter in the call of duty honestly uh man fan of the witcher just like harry potter they're uh, they're my two things i know the most details on Oh, nice. Very nice. All right. Let's see if this will let us go on here. Let me switch this over. I really need to clean up my desktop. <laughs> Got quite a few things going on here, don't I? Alright, as we know, it's gonna do this weird thing first. I'm not sure why it's doing doubles, but okay. Oh, I know why. Uh, if you ever get to jump into The Witcher, I'd be more than happy to lure you up. It's so fascinating. I'd be very down. Okay, so if I switch over to Streamlabs, that's going to be... There we go. Yeah, should be just be display capture, right? Maybe, possibly. All right. Uh, 
Ah, so it's going to be window. Yep. Let me switch back over. This is going to be a weird one. There we go. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. I forgot to turn off display. So we'll turn off. There we go. Now we're back to normal. If you were, if you was ever going to jump into Witcher, I'd be more than happy to lure you up. It's so fascinating. I need, I'm probably going to need you to do that. I know I already, already read that, but I'm going to need you to do that. I just need to remind myself. Um, definitely going to need you to help me out with that because in most cases, I'm good with able to be, you know, jumping into things just fine. But for something as big as Witcher, I feel like I am going to have to get a few things to start out with because I, I know it's a lot of people's favorite game. So I don't want to mess it up. And like with some of the games I've been playing so far, I'm going in, you know, I already know my game. I'm switching it up for myself with the mods to kind of like give myself a new experience while showing you guys something new. But um, other than that, I already know this stuff. But to be able to jump into something else completely brand new, it'll be a big thing. So I would definitely have to get some help with that. Uh, three is such a big game with side quest, main quest, two massive DLCs. And I'm such a completion. I am a completion as well. Uh, I have to get every question mark chest on the maps takes me weeks to play that's how i was with the assassin's creed games monster contracts armor recipes to find cool tip witcher audiobooks all free on youtube Ooh, very nice i like to hear that all right hopefully we can just slide right on in without that loading issue yes the loading issue didn't happen nice if you remember uh, when we first played this, we were having some issues with um, uh, with a, a little like loading loop issue. I wasn't quite sure what was going on with that, but you know. All right. Witcher three. I'm confident in saying my favorite game of the decade. Very nice. Very nice. I would definitely take a look then. Hmm. How much do the how much do the games usually run? Out of curiosity. <laughs> Gorgeous game two for 2015. From what I've seen of, of um, you know gameplay and stuff like that, of the like very small tidbits, like usually the tidbits i've seen for gameplay of the witcher is like you know the the top 20 video game you know compilation things and um even then i don't normally see too much it's just about i've probably seen maybe like a minute and a half worth of game of, ga of anything gameplay related interesting how this skeleton didn't activate Oh, but it still has... Okay. I got mine Game of the Year a couple years back for £7. Uh, also on deal Steam, I've heard a lot. Why? Well, I'm going to be looking into the Steam one for sure so I can be able to play with you guys. You know, play on... You know, obviously play on stream. <laughs> I don't think Witcher is multiplayer, is it? I'll play it if it's multiplayer. If it's multiplayer, we can definitely figure something out. Oh no, Salamander! Uh, I'm still here, but I'll be right back. Oh, take your time, sir. Take your time. There we go. Pure story based, and that's why it's so good. See, I love that. But I love that. We're not done yet. Oh god. Skeletons? Yep, skeletons. I like how the uh, pressing and holding the spell to get multiple people on board 
is kind of similar to the PS2 versions of charging up the spell, basically to charge its power. I don't know. So, very interesting um, detail, I guess. Oh boy. Uh, too many game story modes uh, get pushed aside for online. You're not wrong. Full focus on storytelling, it's, and uh, it's amazing both 2 and 3. So I like the uh, Yakuza... So I like the Yakuza series, because uh, there's barely any online at all. Yeah, fine. Uh, and they're, like, honestly the best stories I've ever played through. I'll see if I can find a way down to you! They're just incredibly long, which is why I'm not going to be doing them on stream. Um, I would love to be able to play, um, oh god, Ben has died, um, Ben drowned. Um, I would love to be, able to, to be able to play through one of the Yakuza games on here, but it does feel like a game that I would like to play through um, myself, unfortunately. Um, I'm only on Yakuza 5 at the moment. I, I haven't gone to Yakuza 6. If there were a game I was able to play on stream, it would be Yakuza 7. Or Yakuza Like a Dragon, which is Yakuza 7, so... Because Yakuza 7 is actually one of those ones that, um... It, it's one of those ones that you can play whether or not you know the series, because it starts with a new character. So... I've never played the last DLC. It's been out nearly five years, and I uh, still not spoiled. Uh, still not spoiled nothing. That's how much I love the series. Very nice. If you can avoid uh, spoilers for that long, props to you, definitely. Come on, no dragon, turn dragon. Thank you. Oh my goodness, dragon! Come on. The hitboxes are are very specific with the uh, the dragon. I've noticed for the wings. Like I could expect like some like clipping to the wall, but no, <laughs> the very tip of the wing Brilliant. still just That's a good dragon. no. Okay, I thought there was something that unlocked over there, wasn't there? Oh god, I do not like how low Hermione's. I don't like how low Hermione's jumps are. They're very scary. <laughs> oh boy. This is the uh, PC version of the game, not the PS2. We do the PC version first, then we do a modded run of the PC version, then we switch over to the PS2. There's so many choices and paths to choose. I like to stay true to the books, but I've, uh, I have to plan the whole game out on paper before I play. Really? Interesting. Um, I'm doing the PS2 version. I could have watched this. You really could have watched this from the start, but you didn't. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I, I didn't want to be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm playing the PC. And then you'd be like, uh-huh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I hate the fact that oh you could you could die so easily from that. Uh, ah. Oh wait a minute. Ah. You think I wouldn't have noticed there. Oh god. Are you serious? There's a secret. That's awesome. I was for a second. I'm like, oh, that god, that's gonna put the beans, gonna drop the beans all on the ground. That's not gonna be fair, but not bad. I wish it was a little bit more prize worthy, but uh, you know. 
I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth if they say, ooh, but I'm gonna take those. Reminds me of a human version of Marvel's. Oh god, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Oh my god, Bane, stop. Uh, it's because you're happy to have a stream without me here. No, never, god. I very much enjoy you on a stream. It's never fun when uh, somebody who's a regular, you know, poofs out of existence, you know? Well, that Looking at you, Aiden. <laughs> never mind, I'm not looking at you. <laughs> never mind. I'm sorry I said anything. some of them activate like this one did not activate I'm very interested as to why corner money there you go that streaming I'm sorry I missed one stream okay <laughs> yeah you see what happens when you do um Ron sounds like me in social situations <laughs> yeah me too Come on, there you go. Oh, sweet lord. All right. I was gonna say, please do not close the door on Hermione. We're never gonna close the door. It's called a puzzle, Harry. You don't have to think about anything. I got this. I'm the smartest tool in the shed, as they say. <laughs> Jesus! Not bad. And over here... No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, good. It takes two. It takes two to tango. Alright, just taking a look, making sure... There's no secrets. Ah! Okay. My second MO approved. Hey! Congratulations! It's looking. Is that it? No, that's looking dope. I'm not familiar with the um, emotes on Twitch just yet. Ah, there we go. What do we switch over to? We need to switch characters. God, these skeletons are horrible. Goodbye. Is that it? Is that seriously it? I expected more. Phone call received after that party. I wish I stayed home, watched you now. What phone call did you get? Plus, this lady is like 16 years dog? older than me. Used to babysit me. I'm very bad. <laughs> oh, that's everybody's fantasy in, at some point in their childhood, I believe. We lost. There's no need to be afraid. Sirius Black is not what you think he is. And Scabbers, he's not a rat. Oh, he's a wizard by the name of I forgot Peter that the Pettigrew. games what? make things what? so much stranger. I can explain. Oh God, Wormtail's model. I didn't even know we had a Wormtail model in this. It wasn't Sirius Black who betrayed your parents. It was 
this was so much better done in the books and the movies, like, oh my god. Just that in the game, it says, Harry, I can explain. He's not what he seems he is. Oh, okay. I'll believe you. He had also framed Sirius Black as Voldemort's spy. It was agreed that Pettigrew Ooh, would that be dirt taken texture. back to Hogwarts mm. and turned over to Professor Those are the But there was one more secret to be revealed that night. But it wasn't a secret that was revealed at that point. <sighs> oh God. It looks like if Harry Potter was the Sims, Jesus. Oh, Ron's dead. Serious? Peter Cruz gone. He transformed into a rat. No shit. Oh god, it's so bad. Is he all right? No, he's dead. He's breathing at least. That could be a coma. <laughs> Professor Lupin is a werewolf. People with, ter with uh, you know, some terminal issues can also breathe, you know. Ron could have permanent brain damage. See, the sad music, he's dead. Um, my mom rang me, call me a fucking idiot. And then, uh, my nan rang saying, all the girls there, why Helen? I had to laugh so drunk party sex is fine. Nan, just not with mom's friend. Oh my god. <laughs> so she was picky. She was giving you a limitation as to who you could um, um, enjoy the presence of, I guess we could say, to keep things family friendly. Alright, when are you going to explode? Come on. Now, if you notice, certain ones are modeled and the other ones are uh, three frame textures that are being moved up and down, PNG wise. Let's see, as a game developer myself, this is something I'm always going to point out is what how they do things uh, for background things. So in order to save uh, both time and space, uh, they made it so that not all the models were actually 3D models, but actually uh, PNG files. That's how they did the um, the War of a Thousand Heartless in Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, it, basically, they made some pictures in the background or very low poly based model with very low poly uh, or very low detailed uh, textures to go on them to basically work around any issues with multiple things in the background and Harry's dead for a brief moment Harry thought he saw someone trying to help him don't say it was his dad because there's no no couldn't be his f but no what was that little zap on the rock there I'm not doing a modded run. How is that? A, I didn't know that was. Harry, that that had to have been a glitch. What's happened? Is Sirius okay? Oh God. Basically cardboard cutouts. Right. Yeah, basically, yeah. Video game developer right. here. I see things in games too. Heck yes. Sirius Good. Sirius Black is not faring so well. He's locked in a high tower. He'll be handed. Not a developer, and even I see. I see these uh, them There's things for 2D. Good. Innocent. I believe that's true. What we need is more time. But, oh, yep, be obvious, Ryan. Time yep. Turner. Time Turner. More than one innocent life could be saved tonight. <laughs> why would you? Why would you wink? Eventually, You've already proven your point. Chronicle, let me borrow this time Turner. I've been using it all year to go back in time so I could attend extra lessons. That explains a lot. We could use it to go and save Buckbeak. And then fly him up to the tower to rescue Sirius. But we must take care not to be seen by our earlier selves. Somewhere. It's awfully quiet. You're sure you set the time turn about the right amount? Why would Buckbeak be in here? But 
Buckbeak was at Hagrid's garden. Like, how how is how is Buckbeak here? I don't. That, that doesn't make sense canonically at all. I. Why didn't Harry Potter go back in time with the Time Turner to the Knights of the Parrots died and beat Voldemort with a plan? Um, we've actually had this conversation already. Um, I think that Simmering, this was before you had made to stream. So, basically, heavy damages could be done to the uh, timeline if he went back that way. Um, as far as actual, you know, Harry Potter lore goes, um, there has been extreme experimental... Um, development with time turners in the past and basically three hours i believe is the safest amount of time um that you could turn back to and so any distributed uh created time turners oh my god looney love good hello <laughs> we have an actual harry potter fan here hello um oh thank you for finding our stream today um but yeah, so time turners, uh, the safest amount of time you could go back is three hours before messing everything up. So how they basically did it is there was one time turner, I believe, left from the olden days. That was a true time turner, one that, could, that was basically unlimited time. That was introduced in The Cursed Child, which most people don't like, but I very much enjoyed it. But um, there was one uh, person that had gone through time further than three hours. I think I don't know how long, how long it was, but they actually got stuck in a time loop void between, I think, three different timelines. It was really weird. And then by the time they were able to pull him out of the void, um, within minutes, he actually aged to his proper age. Um, so it's, it, it, I think it was like, like years and years and years. So he spent so much time in different locations and different times. Um, he basically rapidly aged and then died in like a few minutes. So needless to say, you gotta be careful with time turning. Um, because I believe basically what could happen is if Harry were to go back like 18 years, he would then age 18 years upon coming back, or he would have to live through, all 18 years again it's it's it so it's very wonky um another way to think about this as well the other version is what um what aiden uh, was talking about was um a paradox um there's a very popular paradox uh usage for time turn uh, time turning which is hitler if you were to go back in time and kill adolf hitler as a baby then hitler would no longer exist but because hitler no, no longer exists you no longer have had a reason to go back in time to kill him. Because if Hitler never grew up, then Hitler would not have become this insane, you know, diabolical leader that kills millions of people and massacres at most of a country and multiple countries and starts an enormous war. He would have never gone there. He would have never gotten to that point because he was killed as a baby. So you no longer have a reason to go back in time. Therefore, a paradox. If you go back in time to kill someone, you've had to, you had to have had a reason to kill that person. So if that reason no longer exists, then why did you go back in time to kill him? Ergo, that timeline can no longer exist, and poof, you've killed everyone. Not even joking. That's how the paradox works. So you basically destroy an entire existence, an entire timeline because of that. So that's another reason why you cannot jump back in time Look, to fix an issue party. that big. That's why. Let's find a way to get to it. Yeah, Voldemort never killed them, then Sirius would never be in the jail, and then would never be locked in a tower. Also another very good point as well, yeah. Um... If he was able to go back in time to kill Hitler, you would have had to live it out from the point. Yeah, and that too. So you would be legitimately stuck there forever. <laughs> or at least until you die under normal circumstances. Um, Doctor Who did another uh, uh, time uh, thing as well. Where, if you remember the uh, freaking um, the angels, the uh, weeping angels. Weeping angels would pop you back into time and then feed off the energy of whatever timeline you were supposed to have. Um, but because they send you back in time, all that inevitable uh, time is now, poof, gone. Gone for the feeding. And then you are forced to live an entirely new life until death. So, if you were to be forced to go back in time, you would unfortunately be stuck there. 
and you would have to live it back. There is no way to to speed through time again. So if, again, if Harry was supposed to, if Harry could go back in time, he would unfortunately go back in time and then live out his life then, which would already create a paradox by there being two Harrys of different ages and different ways of existing. Keep in mind, this would be a Harry that has seen the death of his loved ones because of Voldemort, and also a Harry where his parents did not die and, and Voldemort was properly defeated. Um, it would be a paradox in that and that alone of two Harrys of basically now two very differing timelines. Come on, dragon. Come on. There you go. Um, coexisting. That would not be possible. And so you would actually end up destroying not one, but two timelines now. <laughs> Oh god, I love time time travel conversations. I really do. Unless you have a TARDIS. Uh, true, but you have to be careful with that because remember, uh, certain events become fixed. So unfortunately, there are certain times and certain things that are done that cannot be repaired by use of a TARDIS. Case in point was uh, Amy and Rory... Uh, pond or Amy Ro well yeah Amy and Rory we'll, we'll call them Amy and Rory Pond you know they they were the ponds um, I don't remember Rory's uh, Rory Williams yeah so it'd be Amy Williams as well but she stuck to Pond for a while but case in point because um because what's his face um because Rory saw the ah, goodness because Sor because Rory saw his own grave he then created a fixed point in time where that grave now spoke the truth he saw the future therefore it now exists 100 percent it's a fixed point in time because amy saw it too now she's back there too now the doctor has seen it therefore it is a 100 percent fixed point in time so you, if you were able to go back in time unfortunately you would not be able to fix it because it's a fixed point because so much has happened revolving around that time that, that you cannot change it hold tight i'll see what's in there See, simmering just not worth it. Uh, just for the head fuck explanation, let alone lore. Yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, it does. Written in stone, literally. Yeah. Yeah. Written in stone, literally. And God, that was a great episode, too. My God. But yeah, they did mention it in that as well. And I believe... Um, didn't Clara mention it? Or it was either Clara or it was... Um, River who said, well, you can go just you can just go back in time and and change it. Well, no, you can't because again fixed point in time once you see it. It's true So once that grave was seen it, you've, you've locked that into place unfortunately There we go Okay, it's interesting. Very interesting indeed. Definitely look into some of these, uh, into different paradoxes as well. There was another paradox we mentioned a long time ago uh, called the Bootstrap Paradox. Um, that one was pretty interesting. Um, if you ever get the chance, look up a boot Bootstrap Paradox. Um, basically, a thing that only exists because you made it exist, but if you made it exist, then how did it exist in the first place? Um, Rory Nimi Pond... And Rory says, no, it doesn't work like that. And the doctor replies, yes, it does. Ah, okay, there we go. There we go. I was wondering what the reference was there. It's been a while since I've actually straight up watched the episode. No, why would Buckbeak? Buckbeak shouldn't even be here. Um, but basically, yeah, bootstrap paradoxes. So say, uh, biggest, you know, easiest example would be the whole Beethoven example. So say you had a whole bunch of, um, you had a whole bunch of sheet music. Or, you know, you had a whole bunch of sheets of music. Uh, of the composing of all of Beethoven's uh, greatest works. You're a big fan of Beethoven, uh, and you want to travel back in time to get them signed by none other than Beethoven. You get to the right year, the right date, the right month, the right day, the right hour, the right timeline, the, the, the exact right location, town, everything. And... He doesn't exist. Nobody knows who he is. Nobody's ever heard of him. His family's never heard of him. The house he is known to have lived in, he does not live in. He does not exist. But then why does all this stuff exist? But you can't possibly 
imagine a world without the great and wonderful Beethoven. So you get all of Beethoven's work signed under Beethoven's signature, under his name, and you basically become Beethoven. The music now exists only because you brought the sheet music to that particular time and place. But here's the thing. Where did the music come from in the first place? If Beethoven does not exist without you, then how did Beethoven exist before you knew about Beethoven? It is a very interesting, uh, freshly caught Cornish Pixies. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, it's a very interesting concept and one I've actually played with a little bit um, when I was teaching a philosophy class uh, back at uh, American River College. Uh, a few years back we were experimenting with that and people people loved it um but yeah that is uh the beethoven explanation is a explanation made by peter capaldi as the 12th doctor it's a very interesting concept and has been used quite a bit in some of your um in some of your uh, media especially with time travel i believe they did pull off a bit of a bootstrap paradox at one point with the back to the future movies i forget which part it was but there was a part that yeah basically could not have happened if it didn't happen it's really weird <laughs> uh same case in actually in the harry potter uh in the Harry Potter uh, 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 series, actually, the whole fact that Harry saw himself across the lake, um, that is a bootstrap paradox. How could he have cast such a powerful Patronus if he didn't originally see himself cast the powerful Patronus? The, the, Patron the Patronus. So because he saw himself, he knew he was able to do it. But he wouldn't have ever done it unless he, have, he saw himself, but he didn't know it was him. Until he did it. <laughs> it's freaking bonkers. Uh, yeah, time loop. The moment you went back to the time and made Beethoven, it became a fixed point. You always go back to that point and make Beethoven. Yes, that's another thing, too. You cannot travel outside of that particular moment because it's now a fixed point. Even if you get close to it, you, you just can't. You have to make it to that point, and you will always be at that fixed point. Um... Okay, so Harry now has to do uh, another... Okay, that's not how it happened at all. <laughs> that is not how it happened. Um, Blue Lovegood, by the way, how are you doing? I'm sorry I wasn't able to greet you as much as I would normally like to greet people when they first show up. We're having a little bit of a conversation on, on time travel, but hopefully you're doing well, Luna. Or Looney. Lovegood. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many people are uh, streaming Harry Potter. I know I myself am streaming Harry Potter games. Uh, Simmering01, who's currently in the chat today, is also a Harry Potter gaming streamer as well, uh, who does plenty more than just Harry Potter, but uh, we actually found each other through Harry Potter streaming. Um, but hopefully, if you're in the chat, I hope you're doing pretty good. Eric, how are you? How are you doing? Uh, somebody looks like he's feeling better. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I think it was, um, I got a little bit of a cold one time when the air conditioning was on overnight. And ever since then, I was just, it was bad. It wasn't necessarily like a big fever, but it was definitely, I was exhausted. And like, my whole face was like really warm and I could barely keep my eyes open. I was sleeping all day, it was ridiculous. But I am feeling much better, thank you. I actually, I think I even missed a stream a little bit. I was not feeling good at all. I think that's it, right? Yep, that's it. But yeah, glad to see you back. How did Biff get back to the uh, correct timeline? Um, I forget. It's been a while. I need to take a look at that and, and see um, how Biff really did get to his correct timeline. Or could it have just been the paradox fixing everything? I'm not quite sure myself. Um, Ronald Reagan, the actor, <laughs> who's Vice President Jerry Lewis. Oh my god, such a funny moment. And I'm really surprised at how much, uh, how many Americans do not realize that Ronald Reagan was an actor before he was a politician, which some people might joke around saying, "Oh, what's the difference?" <laughs> but, um, but yeah, Ronald Ronald Reagan uh, did quite a few many, I believe, comedy and uh, comedy and dramas uh, with a monkey as well. I believe I forget the uh, chimpanzee's name. Um, it was oh god, what was the monkey's name? It was a very cute name. 
I can't remember the, the chimpanzee, the chimp's name, but uh, it might not have an explanation. Could just be a plot, plot hole. It could be. No, Biff went from 2012 back to 1975. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. That's right. I get you. Yeah. And we got that beautiful, famous scene of Biff being punched yet again. Hey, and there's Dollar Tree Gary Oldman. How? How? Serious? You better go. They'll be here any moment. Quick! Go! How can I ever thank? Go! <laughs> His mouth just kept hanging. We'll see each other again. <laughs> you are truly your father's son, man. <laughs> Oh my god. You were right. This is, the PC version is a bit janky. <laughs> um, 2012 was 2015. 30 year roll, 1955, 1985, 2015. Why so serious in 1885? Oh, yeah, I forgot about 1885. The, uh, the frickin' the train back in the good old days of the West. News of Sirius Black's escape spread throughout the school like wildfire. No one seemed to know how it managed. Harry, Ron, and Hermione kept what they knew to them. Uh, yeah, it's final exams time. Besides, it was the day of their final exams, and not all of the friends were well prepared. I don't know how you're possibly going to pass your exams, Ron. You've hardly studied a thing. Me? What about you? You spent all that time researching Buckbeach's defense. Please, Ron, give me some credit. I used the time turner to study, of course. I'm aiming for perfect marks. She's always got an answer, doesn't she? Bad news, Ron. Your car pair of tracks. Yep, it was actually 2015, actually. Head up to Professor Lupin's classroom. Got you right there. The the 2015. Unfortunately, you're wrong. 2015, indeed. Actually, no, you're both right. You're both right. Look at that. We got 2012 and 2015 on there. You're correct. Both of you are right. Everyone's fine. Everyone's happy. Everyone can go to bed now. <laughs> July 11th, 19... Or July 11th, 2012, yeah. July 10th, 122 versus 937. Oh. Then 19, yeah, 19, 1955, 1985, 2012, 2015. Oh my god. You know, there is a... Um, one of the very first... Um, and I believe one of the only versions of these games I ever played. Um, the Telltale games. There was a Back to the Future Telltale game. And they, they never went back... They never went to 2012 in the movies, though? Did they? Oh, okay. I, I, I thought they did. All the years they went to ended in five. Interesting. Okay, maybe that was a... Okay. Oh, goodness. Alright. Let's see what we could do here. How many beans do I got? 1929, <laughs> 245 and 64. Okay, not too bad. Are you excited, Hermione? It's final exam day. I'm not excited. Oh, buzz off, Gryffindor. We don't mix with your sort. With my sort. It's very racist. All right. Nope, can't do that. Can't do that. There's a way to um. Oh, there's something I remember. Ah, there it is. Ah, I still, I still have it. I've still got it.
There we are. Did I knock that down there? there? Yes, I did. Harry, yeah, come over here. I will. One of our collector's cards, Harry. Played two episodes. Did you? Did you really? I never completed Telltale. Um, I actually did play all of them. Yeah, I really did. Cheers, Harry. Um, I have Back to the Future games, so I never played it. Oh, you really should. They're they're very. Mm, they haven't aged well at all. <laughs> Um, no, we're gonna play. You're gonna complete this game in two streams. Oh, that's what you think. Sounds good. I'll buy it. Enjoy, Harry. But we're already at an hour and ten minutes, and all we have to do is, is, is the final exams now. Come on. Do you collect Come cards? on. I've got a rare one for At sale. least Hufflepuff wears yellow. Yeah, finally, Jesus. Right, it's a deal. I did the house test thing for the Enjoy, first time Harry. when I finished Chamber of Secrets. You're a Ravenclaw. Hey, there you go. At least you got Cho. Oh God, not the simping for Cho again, Jesus. Y'all driving me crazy with that. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go over to Fred George. Hey, Harry, over here. Hmm, not dealing with you at the Did moment. Okay. Did I already get that? I don't think I did. I definitely don't think I did. Ah, there we go. Nope, just, just no, just let me down. Let me down. Thank you. George. See, I sent for Mari. For some reason, I don't know why like everyone hates Mari. I like her. I like Mari. Never been tested this password. But you look like a man who's not afraid to uh, from Stardew side. Valley, by the way. You've got a deal. Maru, sorry. See, I sent for her so well that I don't remember her name. <laughs> you look like a man who's Mari, not Maru, to yeah. Take risks, Harry. Yeah. I'll take it. A bit of a mystery, this one. But I'm sure it's worth twice the price. Yeah, absolutely fantastic game, yeah. You've got a deal. Oh, God. How how much for cauldron cakes? How many cauldron cakes? Oh, I only have 30 left. Oh, boy. Just got Are this these bottle. just cauldron cakes? Not sure what's behind the portrait, though. Oh, God. They're yeah, just cauldron okay. cakes. Jesus. Music was so good. Oh, yes. Music is fantastic in that game. Excellent secret. Very hush hush. Yeah. Great, it's a deal. Sorry, Harry. You don't have enough. It's all cauldron. Cake cake. Like uh, it's all cauldron cakes. My God. <laughs> we shouldn't really be selling that so cheap. It's a fine card. I'll buy that. Okay, so we took care of all those. Let's Just go ahead and get this, this one. one nice, eh? Right. Oh, that's a classic collector's card, that is. Is it, though? Phases of the moon and potion making. Oh, okay, oh, I can see that. that. Didn't even know we had that one. Very rare. I'm going to do a chill star st uh, Stardew stream on Thursday before I finish Harry Potter. I'm taking a three-day break from streaming currently. Oh, okay. Very nice. You've got a deal. I might have to jump on there for the uh, Stardew stream. Just look at the quality, Harry. A real beauty, isn't it? So the conversion is 50 beans for one cauldron cake? Jesus. Quite expensive, isn't it? If I could buy in bulk, that'd be nice, but unfortunately it doesn't seem I can. Alright, got a lot of portraits. Let's go test some of them out. Actually, hold on. Is this one of them? Hmm. Nope. I think we'll need to buy a password from Fred and George's shop to see what's behind this portrait. With those dementors finally gone. I wonder who drove them <laughs> off. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I think we'll need to buy 
my password from Fred and George's <gasps> shop to see what's behind this portrait. Tommy Button. Ah, there we go. Um. Excuse me? Tommy Button. Um. There we go, finally. A little bit strange. Oh, sweet Jordan. Jesus. There you go. Let me in. Thank you very much. I need a break to refresh myself. I have a lot of uni work also to do. Oh, that makes sense. I got a lot of stuff to work on myself, so I was thinking about taking a small break as well. But with how little I, I do stream, though, and how many streams I already missed to begin with... I don't quite think I'm in need just yet. And I stream relatively late for where I'm at too, so I can get everything I need done in the, in, in the beginning of the day anyways. Great use, great use all cakes to buy passwords, can't find a single one. Yeah, really? Yeah, because how much do I have? I think I have like one, right? I have nine, okay. You ain't allowed to leave me. No, I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving. Uh, I have an issue where I'm 99% chat, 1% game. Oh no. <laughs> Give me something. There we go. I'll take four. How big is the ceiling? Oh, that's not bad. I thought it was, for some reason, I thought it was taller. Also, is it just me, or does this wizard look like Tony Bennett? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, look up a picture of Tony Bennett, and then look at this. Like, seriously, y'all go on, unless you guys know who Tony Bennett is already. He's kind of obscure nowadays. Um, but look up Tony Bennett. Uh, I think that's what I'm thinking of. The singer. Tony... Bennett, yeah. Take a look at, at a picture of Tony Bennett and then tell me that's that's not Tony Bennett. Come on. That is Tony Bennett. I think he's still alive, too. Oh, it does. Yeah, it really does. It really freaking looks like Tony Bennett. I've always thought it looked like Tony Bennett. <laughs> it's a very strange thing to think, but yeah, the more I look at some of these, like you can really point out some people, honestly. Like if you can see some more like similar similarities with people, definitely point them out. But this is definitely Tony Bennett fight by far. Didn't want to do that, but okay. Hey Potter, no, they'll take care of my beans. Collector's card. Ah, uh, sure. You've got a deal. Nice thing Was it this you. game had a Mona Lisa ripoff? All the games have a Mona Lisa ripoff. Bibble. No, open up for me. Bibble. Thank you. Ooh, very nice beans. Oh my god. Hey, there you go. Okay. Not bad. Not a bad set of prizes there. Oh. 
That is indeed a birdie bot's uh, portrait there, indeedy. Well, here we are. Ready to take that final Oh, I didn't want to yet. Do I look a bit feverish to you? I didn't want Good to try, yet, God. but okay. Harry and I will meet up with you outside in the courtyard after our exams. Bye. Nice knowing you. <laughs> Oh, that's how I feel. Jesus. Oh, God. Lupin's neck just... Ugh. Do people still use cauldrons? I've never seen one. Yeah, cauldrons are still used, uh, but we didn't have a potions class in this game. That's why. I must warn you, Rob. This exam is fairly difficult. And also a bit dangerous. Um, dangerous? To earn a perfect Unless you mean in real life. If that's the case, I know my grandmother uses one. Go to it, Rob. Good luck. to real life okay i was curious about that yeah no people still use it my grandmother's a weird mix of of roman catholic and witch so it's i don't know or my grandmother says she's a witch and she has some artifacts but you know then again my grandfather also told me that uh, he used to get stuff from mexico and in reality he just got stuff from the uh little shopping center from down the street so <laughs> Oh god, this is gonna be a very interesting, uh, exam. Oh boy. Is there anything on this side? No. There we go. Uh, Ron learns carpet retract him in this game. Yes, he does. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I need that. Ah, oh, frick. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but that's hilarious. It really is. It really is. My grandmother's a very interesting soul. I love her. Love her to bits. Okay, there we go. Oh, aha, there we go. Got it. God, this is this is slightly nerve wracking. Oh, no. Oh my god, no. Just let it go. There we go. Oh god. This is the right way, right? Oh god, I hope it is. Oh, it is. Oh. How do I get up there? No! Okay. Hopefully it was... Was I going the right way? No, okay. So that's the right... And then up here. And so it's... But how do I get up there, though? Because there's beans up there. How do I get up there? Yeah, there's legit bean. Oh, wait a minute. I probably have to keep going. Duh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Nope, nope. Oh, oh, there. There it was. Gosh dang it. I probably have to get closer to the edge. Come on. Oh no. Oh, I'm alive. Yes. Alright, hold on, let me see here. Uh, I was way... I was stuck in the carpet retractum section yesterday for way too long on the PS2. Really worry. I don't remember the carpet retractum challenge at all on the PS2. I don't remember most of the PS2 version of the games. Um, we need mods. Yes, we do. Ron going to bed at 2 p.m. in Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, Ron got more... Ron had better sleep than I did. Jesus. It's one reason why I'm jealous of Ron is it's solely because he has... He has Probably better sleeping patterns than I do. Oh, you bastard. How do we get over there? Or is it this? Is that it? Ah, okay. 
okay. That's how we get there. All right. It's 22 hours sleep. Hey, gotta have that beauty rest, you know? Gotta have the beauty rest. Get it. We definitely need more mods. There are going to be uh, there's there's not going to be as many mods in this game as um, as the other two games, unfortunately. But there's still going to be stuff we can play around with. Oh. Take a frog. Don't really need the frog right now. I'll take more beans though. Ah, that's a nice healthy thing of beans. Uh okay. Oh no. Creative way to do the map. Very creative. Okay. I noticed they don't say the spells when they cast them on the PS2. I definitely remember Ron saying Lumos, though. I definitely remember him saying Lumos. But other than that, yeah, for the most cases, you don't hear the spell names. Uh, someone really should call social services on this Hogwarts. Uh, these kids are not safe. Yeah, no, definitely not. Someone could just fall off the le uh, off the edge waiting for the bloody stairs to come down. Oh, yeah, those staircases. I mean, that we should talk to Osha about that. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, missing the never-ending Flipendo? Yeah, or AKA Nintendo, as we used to say. It really did sound like he was, he was saying Nintendo. Um, where do I go from here? Hmm. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, that wasn't terrible. Harry says Lumos a lot and Scourge. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I def- Oh, Jesus. Could you put any more? I would love to have more. Thank you. Just light him on fire, why don't you? Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. In POA, uh, Harry doesn't learn Lumos or Scourge. Yeah, so Lumos is learned by Ron, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't it? So I remember I remember the um the ghosts with the little lanterns. I don't remember much of them, I just remember that that particular section was a little bit oof. It's a little bit oof. At least for me it was oof. I was struggling. But then again I was also a kid, so. <sighs> Got to say, how much more do you got in there, mister? Jesus. Hmm. Alright, that desperate for the beans. Yeah. Hinky punks, yeah, I completely forgot that's what they're called. That got me stuck for months, I'll tell you that. Oh my god, how are you? Oh. Is that what I was supposed to do? Uh, ah, okay, that's how we get in here. Interesting. 
chest. Got a chest over there and a chest over here. I'm not going to say no to any of them. Uh, you are definitely right, though. I am not finishing this in, in one stream, unfortunately. Um, I know we're only at a, an hour and a half, but I'm already getting tired. Jesus. I did spend the uh, the whole day uh, helping a friend move, so... That cool oh, could be the reason why. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was... Oh, God. This is like... I, I'm, I gotta say that I'm not 100% a fan of platforming only because of the fear factor in platforming. Like, I panic so easily in these games when it comes to anything platform related. It's so easy to make me panic. Ooh, Colin K. Third Day. Oh. It's gonna be an interesting uh, experience. Oh god. Oh, you bastard. What a trick to be playing. Oh, hello. What did the thing do? Dang it, I was, I was trying to fling myself. Sometimes it works. Uh, come on. Let me up. Thank you. Uh, you bastard, how? How do I... Hmm. What happens if I stay on it? for a long period of time. If I can actually get up here, thank you. Oh, wait a minute, do I have to go on both sides? Ah, but that's why. Hold on, let me fling over here real quick. Remember Sullivan complaining about the beans in Chamber of Secrets? Yeah, oh my god, Chamber of Secrets beans, that was ridiculous. We we'll always need more beans, we really do. I like the inside joke how you still remember to this day the pain and agony that we have had on Chamber of Secrets for the PS2. I, I, that's one game I don't want to replay solely because of just how cheap and unfair uh, the bean loss techniques were. And then how offensively easy it was to get them back again. But how long it took to actually get to a point where we actually could get all the beans again. I have been. I mean, uh, golden cakes. Oh. Yep. Hey, there we go. This can't be it, is it? Did I get all of them? If I got five, I got all of them. Fantastic work, Ron. Yes. I don't know why I even question myself. It'll be right back. All right. Thanks, Professor Lupin. Try the Spider-Man trick flick? Yep. Yep. You saw right through me. Oh. Oh my goodness. There you go. He's going over here now. I hope you prepared for oh. the exam, Miss Granger. Absolutely, Professor McGonagall. Thanks to the time tanner you lent me. You may find this a bit more challenging than our previous exercises. Collect all five challenge shields. Mm. Perfect <laughs> score exam. You may begin. But do I actually want to begin, though? Oh, people are liking my stuff on Twitter again. I am a simple man. I'm easily pleased by media attention. Oh, I forgot this little area. I actually remember this. 
I know it's a weird thing to remember, just a little like cave or tunnel like that, but it's the little things that you can remember, you know? I take that as a yes, yes, yes you do. Sick jump. Thank you. Okay, I really do have a feeling I missed something. Yeah, I did. Come on. Oh. Well, that's the end of the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> rabbit season, boy. Yes, it is. And the thing I forgot was this right here. And that should be able to let me skedaddle. There we go. Oh god, not, not these things. Not Bundamans. A PS2 enemy that I... Uh, an enemy from PS2... An enemy that I don't believe is in a PS2 version of the game. Are the, are the Bundamans. Stop hurting yourself, Hermione. Okay, they're their first one. Yeah, we're definitely not finishing this today. We are going to be doing a three-part. Only reason is I'm actually very much struggling to keep my eyes open. It's a timed panel. Come on. There we go. Giant whoopee cushions. Yeah, giant whoopee cushions made of acid, maybe, but uh, no. <laughs> Why are there two save points here? That's another curious question I, I would like to ask. Fly through there too, huh? Oh God! No, 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 no! There's a timer. Come on, come on! No speed! No, come on! Oh my God! Turn, you demon! I'm having war flashbacks in this area. Oh, Jesus. Is 
I gotta go down now? Oh boy. The time wear is a lot slower than I remember it being. Come on. Oh my god, these wings are these wings are gonna actually make me lose. Oh my god. Get in there. Oh, just barely. Oh, just barely. Come on, fly, fly, there, nope. There you go. Those beans just ain't worth it. Any cakes are good though. Yeah, you're right. It's a lot easier to make uh, to make any profits off of beans than, I mean, on cakes than there are beans. <sighs> You've completed the exam in good time, Miss Granger, but you did not- That was quick. I'll have to do that again at some point. Would you like to retake the exam? Not at this particular time. No, we're not going to go ahead and do the exam. We're going to exit final exam just for now. We are going to go ahead and redo the redo them as well. Ready for the Glacius final exam? Oh no, I'm not. I'm not ready at all. Splendid. You know the rules then. Pick up all five challenge shields to earn a perfect score. Got it. Five challenge shields. Oh, and Harry, this exam's a bit more difficult than our usual. Retake next stream. Yeah, exercises. we're definitely going to retake that Good next stream. To you. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can get past as far as this one goes. Also, I like the difference in the fact that we're we're doing a lot of like stone and a lot of, um, you know, brick and concrete and stuff. And all of a sudden you come in here and it's just metal. I love that change. It's more industrial this way. It's very interesting that they decided to go with uh, a more metal look with this. Ooh, hello. Yeah, y'all thought to lose out on that uh, skull there, but I did not. I will gladly take all of these. Oh my god. I'm back. Welcome back, Simmering. You're kidding me, really? Okay. Oh, these salamanders? No, they're crap. After the glacier uh, challenge, I am gonna have to go to sleep. Jesus! Oh my god, I'm actually like passing out <laughs> on stream. Like my eyes are like start starting to slowly close. I have the perfect emote. What is that? Oh my gosh! 
I like it. Uh, I might be doing a 12 hour stream in two weeks with some of my streamer friends for charity where the ARS squad. Interesting. Very nice. Heinz beans. Yeah, I noticed. Very, very fitting. Get down. Here we go. Oh. Uh, of course. It was not going to be that easy to be that happy. Mm, nope. Got those beans. And the final one right there. Was it the final? I think it was the final one. Uh, just find a save book. I was thinking about doing a save book, but I, I could I could keep going. Because I think I'm already at, what, like three challenge shields? And I think they're the fourth one coming up here. The, um... The first aid. The, um... The, the final, um, challenges are actually fairly simple. Just to, usually they're just basically, uh, hey, don't die. More baked beans, Jesus. Oh, hello. That's a lot, Jesus. I'm not going to say no to these at all. Hey, we're up to 37 uh, cauldron, cauldron cakes already. Not bad at all. Well done, hey, Mary. so a again, wow. didn't... I believe it myself. It was a pleasure having you in charms class this term. I think I you finished this enjoy. one with Hermione... Uh, not getting 100% for both of her uh, challenges, if, if, if I'm not mistaken. It's either that or Harry's missing uh, a couple from Glacius. Just Hermione to replay. Yeah, I think I have to replay her original ch uh, spell challenge as well. I'll have to take a look at that real quick. And I have a whole bunch of mini games to do next stream as well. Oh yeah, here's the part where I mentioned uh, how Dumbledore and McGonagall keep you um, hostage. Ah, Harry original. Ah, okay. Survived your final exams. Oh, they were great fun. Speak for yourself. Yes, yeah, she does. Yes, yeah, she does. Months. Well then, let's see whether you've completed all of your third year requirements. I did not, lady. I did not. Yeah, Glacius. Okay, yeah, so it is Harry, yeah. So Hermione, I need to do her final exam again, and I need to do Harry's original exam again. Um, Harry... Uh, what does Harry learn in the PS2 version? <sighs> Been a while. So I'm not quite sure. Unless he's the one that learned... Does he learn Carpe Retractum? Is he the one that learns that? Ah, there we go. Harry has Carpe Retractum and Expecto Patronum. Ah, okay. So, yeah, next stream we'll go ahead and do all of these. We'll do all of these, and we'll do this one right here. Looks like you've got a few things to finish up yet. Off you go. All right, 
let's go ahead and find a save point. Because boy, are my eyes tired. Ah, you know what? There should be one in here. <sighs> Ron learns a, two, a year two spell. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you think about it. I mistook one of those greed leaves. We're not going to talk about that. I mistook one of the green leaves for a, a bean. Ron needs to blow his nose on the PS2 version. Does he? Does he found? Does he sound constipated? I mean, not constipated. Oh, not constipated. Jesus. Um, does he sound congested? There we go. Five more hours hype. Oh yeah, no God, no. I'm way too tired for five hours. Jesus, you have way too much faith in me. Oh God, I'm not doing that. That one takes forever to get done properly. I I, I kind of faintly remember where the gargoyle is, if I'm mistaken. I think the gargoyle one is like out here somewhere, isn't it? I think. I'm very wrong. Ah, I'm very right. Never mind. Oh. Not bad. Let's go ahead and save inside yet. Yeah. And he's really annoying. He locks you in the dormitory until you show him a book. What? Oh god, I forgot. Peeves is doing some stuff. That armor looks red hot. Ooh, ickle kitties. Want to play? Talk about OSHA violations. So like, Peeves himself is an OSHA violation. We go, got him. So much for him. Oh, the Fully of Brutai. I remember that actually. I remember that little quote. I quite enjoyed it. This game don't, don't want to stop. It really it. doesn't. Making him cry like that. Don't worry. You're Get bringing me like high school flashbacks here, simmering. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I remember those. But the thing is, I don't remember much at all. So it's been it's been way too long for these. I cannot wait to get back into the uh, the PS2 versions. Oh, my goodness. But, however, tonight we will have to call it a night. Unfortunately, I know we've been getting a little bit of a shorter stream these past uh, couple of streams, but um, I have also been pushing myself uh, to late nights, unfortunately. So, um, unfortunately, I am going to have to call it a night here for now. Um, I might even switch back to 6 p.m. for a little bit rather than 8 p.m. Who knows? Not quite sure. I know with uh, Aiden, that means he gets uh, to go to sleep a little bit earlier. So that's nice. Um, <laughs> I was the same way. It's fun remembering. It really is like the nostalgia of just I'll just leave the stream running. We'll watch the chair. Uh, yes, with with good old uh, Ben here, right? With Justice Bean Pillywickle right here, of course. He'll take over for me as I sleep. I'll, I'll just sleep in the corner right over here, you know. My head poking out. I think you guys mentioned before there's like a sleep stream, isn't there? Like I can, there's like streams of people just sleeping. Is that true? Because if that's the case, I would love to do like a stream uh, of just like, just sleeping for a couple hours. I'll just literally just take a nap here. And then, uh, that'll be fine. I'll leave on like a movie for you guys to watch. <laughs> Hold on, I'm curious. 
Let me try sleeping. Are there people, are, are there actual videos of people sleeping? Yes, there is, my god. There's somebody sleeping and they have 742 views, wow. Another sleep stream of, of, of 15 hours, 17 hours, 20 hours ago, 20 hours, uh, that's about right, yeah, 20, 23 hours. This one's six hours long, three and a half hours, four hours, I'm only sleeping. Wait, so I'm only sleeping is a legit sleeping thing. Interesting. So what, is there music playing in the background, or is it just they're sleeping? There's a channel uh, called Aurora Sleep, and she literally just sleeps. Wow. And 742 views. My god. What? That's crazy. So what, are they actually just like, hold on. Is there music playing? Oh no, that's an ad break. <laughs> I'm like, oh wow. Right, start watching Aura Sleep right after this ad break. Stick around to support the channel. Wow. Oh no, she's out of bed though. But is there... Is there music? No, she's getting back into bed. Is that lo-fi? Yeah, it's lo-fi. I listen to lo-fi. She's checking the she's checking the chat. And she's getting donations while she sleeps. She's already made 65 bucks. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Interesting. Man, what am I missing out on? <laughs> Normally need to show a bit of boob in a hot tub to get big numbers for sleep streams, does it? Oh, that's a shame. But they're just sleeping though. They're not sleeping in a hot tub like this. She used to sleep in a nice comfy bed, LED pink strips on the back. Really nice blanket. Comfortable. Got a little uh, Adventure Time merch in there. Purple curtains. Very nice. Love the wallpaper. Nice little white bed frame thing going up on the top. Yeah, it's just sleeping. My god, how many people do... How? Wait, hold on. So this is, this is a whole category called I'm Only Sleeping. Can I click on it? No. Categories. Yeah, I'm only sleeping. 2,000 viewers. My god. This guy's sleeping here. I don't know how long he's been sleeping. Oh, he, he's conked out. My god. This one, nice, very dim lighting. This, oh my god, this, oh my god, this guy is just, he's like my grandmother. There's this guy, and it's just like, <laughs> like that's exactly how my grandmother like his legs all kicked up and stuff oh my god this guy is sleeping good my god this one's just a wall just a you know just a wall all right uh sleeping with the head uh, facing away from the wall okay or away from the camera 62 viewers but he also has a, a nice little live camera feed of like outside of a hotel or something with like some nice water Intra I might have to look into this. I'd love to make uh, views just off of sleeping. Alerts on full volume. Oh god, imagine waking up in the middle of the night to just like a, a notification. Um, wow, there's huge amounts of content for just sleeping. Interesting. Oh, guy woke up and is checking his phone, went back to bed, okay. <laughs> wow. Absolutely bonkers. I'm just scrolling one after another after another of just people sleeping. I'm very interested. Oh my god. How long has he been how long has he been streaming? No. That can't no, that can't be it. How long has he been streaming? That's about a 744 hour stream. Jesus. No. Okay, so this guy called Emperor underscore Fabian, right? 24 7 live 
for 6,800 plus hours. This guy is currently at 6,991 hours, 39 minutes, and 38 seconds of, of a complete 100% streaming constantly. And he's like doing the sleep stream. He's apparently doing video game streams literally just day in and day out. That's intense. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, you sleep in a hot tub. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I already, I already don't like water. Too. Had to stop watching it. Can't do it. No, can't do it. Nah, dang. Uh, I went to find out the same video. You, oh, okay, that's why. Can't find the same video you're watching. It's so weird. Yeah, I know. There's people sleeping, man. It's crazy. Yeah, there's a whole category called I'm only sleeping. That's crazy. Text to speech that would creep you out in bed. I have a friend right now doing a subathon. He's doing 30 hours. He's at 21 at the moment. Wow. Hey, congratulations to your friend, though. Seriously. Oh, he's moving around. He's moving a little bit. Hold on. So, what else does he do? Hold on. Let me check out his. Can I click on his channel? Hold on. I'm curious about this guy. The Emperor underscore Fabian. I'm, I'm curious about this. Let's see what he does. What What do you do? Uh, so he plays Minecraft. Leaf Blower Revolution. Uh, let's see. He's currently sleeping. Playing some Minecraft. Okay, so he, he does some stuff. What's his schedule like? Okay, not too many. He currently has five viewers right now. Uh, every game I've played on the stream so far. Yeah, he's played a, quite a bit of games. I wonder if there's a game that I would need a little bit of, like... I wonder to find a game that I need to, like, leave on. And then just, like, take a little bit of a nap. While that game is on. And just sleep on stream. Just, like, a two-hour nap, you know, and see what comes of it. I'm, I'm going to experiment with that at some point. I'm actually going to go ahead and do like a, a little like two hour nap. I'll put something on for you guys or a game that needs like to be on to do something to collect something or, you know, you know, accumulate something, uh, maybe a clicker game or something like that. Um, or I'll put on like a little like gaming movie or, you know, all cutscene gaming thing or something and just take a small nap for a little bit. That'd be interesting. Imagine Harry Potter on Sunday, KH on Wednesday, and sleep on Friday. <laughs> yeah, the best way to go to the best way to start the weekend is sleeping with people. <laughs> that sounds weird. Oh goodness. Oh, but yeah, yeah. I am gonna call it a night though. I'm a little bit tired. Um, I will probably go to sleep for a couple hours and then wake up and not be tired and then play a little bit of Yakuza on the side and then go to sleep again. But. Like I said, I have work tomorrow, and I have a few days off afterwards, so I'll be streaming on and off those few days just to see what I can do. Um, I don't know what we're doing this Wednesday. Supposedly this Wednesday we're going to switch back over to Kingdom Hearts for a little bit. We're going to be playing um, Kingdom Hearts Kingdom Memories once more. Um, we are also going to be switching over to... I think we're going to go ahead and instead of switching to Channel Memories, or switching from Channel Memories, we're going to switch to Channel Memories. Um, we're going to play through um, the ending of... Um, the critical mix because apparently according to the developer there is a new little ending to the uh mod so we're gonna have to go ahead and check that out before we switch on over the chain of memories on wednesday um and then i'm not sure if we're doing anything on tuesday we might who knows i'll have to figure it out um saturday stream is probably going to be canceled i'm not entirely sure um because i am going to be gone on friday and that's going to be flowing into saturday so we might be off saturday again but i'll make it up to you guys throughout the week because like I said, uh, I will be off most of this week, so I'll make it up to you guys. Um, get some rest. I've got 10 hours left of support. Oh, boy. Jesus, you have fun with that. Yeah, because you, you got to support that friend of yours is doing the subathon. Oh, maybe I should go do like a follow-thon or something like that. I don't know. Hold on. Let me switch this over here real quick. Let me pop up. Uh, there you go. There we go. Have a little bit of a chat with you guys before we head out here. 
But yeah, it's been very, very fun today. I'll tell you that. I had a load of fun uh, playing through Prisoner of Valley Bound. I'm very surprised that we are at the end. Like, this game, if you really think about it, it only took us, like, what, five hours max, maybe? Like, it's, it's ridiculously short. My goodness. Um, but yeah, thank you for popping on with me today. I really appreciate it. And we have a new follower today, uh, Looney Lovegood. The previous uh, follower we had is Cheese Lover 66 I'm actually going to go ahead real quick and add uh, Looney on here real quick. Give me a second. Uh, let me close this. Let me copy and paste that. And then type in, what is it, two O's? Yeah, or two zeros. Looney. That sounds about right, right? Oh, they look like ones. Are they ones? No. All right, and then save. There we go. And now their name is on the little scrolly bit up there. That's nice. But yeah, not a bad stream today. We, we finished up as much as we needed to. Uh, so the next stream uh, for Harry Potter, we're going to go ahead and uh, basically clean up house. We're going to go ahead and uh, finish Harry's uh, Glacier Challenge. Um, we might sneak a mod in there just to be able to get that, that last one that we need. Um, and then finish up Hermione's um, exit exam, go through and get all the secrets in the game, and then we'll go ahead and do a full mod, a full mo uh, run mod, but we might switch that for another day as well. So um, probably Tuesday, we're going to go ahead and do some more Harry Potter. Um, you've got seven followers left. I really, I'm very surprised at how fast this has been growing. My goodness, we're already at 44. It's surprising. Um, on here it says six, but I think on Twitch it says seven. So I'm very confused about how that works. Um, I think you're my 43rd, really 43rd follower. My God, jeez, it's been that long. Cause I know you're you're far beyond 50 now, right? Far beyond 50. Very proud of your of your progress. My God. Um, <laughs> yeah, no joke though. I, I really am thinking about doing it. Who's that little cling? Harry Potter isn't even open. I closed Harry Potter. Oh no, I didn't close Harry Potter. Hold on. That that can be that, that's an issue. Hold on. There we go. I might have lost a follower. It happens to me sometimes. Oh no. People would want to leave this stream. Come on now. <laughs> that's okay. It's to be expected. Uh, I think you're my 45th. Oh wow. Hey, there you go. Um, but yeah, and then as far as the mods go for uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, what we can look into and look forward to um, is the regular stuff. You know, obviously, uh, you know, being able to run through walls and stuff like that. Um, there's a give all portrait passwords, give all challenge shields, give all wizard cards. Um, we can actually end up playing as Professor Flitwick, Professor Lupin, Dumbledore McGonagall. We can play as Draco Malfoy. There is a special menu that allows us to tweak some of the developer code. Um, there's a debug menu that is a little bit stuff, a little bit of stuff as well. Um, all actors on the map, which is more of a uh, Unreal Engine kind of thing. Uh, focus on and focus off. I don't remember what that does. There is an edit Harry properties uh, for advanced users that changes uh, more of the just specific Harry properties rather than the game properties. Um, there's a camera alcohol effect that I'm very curious about. Um, there is a kill all creatures on the map. There is a stop camera, uh, shake head. Um, there is a suicide mode. There is a restart level, ghost mode, fly mode, walk mode, God mode, save game, load game, uh, low gravity, normal gravity, playing as special, playing as heroes, playing as creatures, playing as spawners. There is an ability to even record and play back uh, bits of gameplay. There is a game speed down, game speed up. There is the ability to spawn wizard crackers. Carpe Retractum uh, targets, we can throw fire, we can throw a magic light, 
Uh, and then there's also a bean bonus timer patch, a night mode as in all the other games as well. And finally, uh, a map as well, which I believe is just turning on the uh, Marauder's, rap Marauder's map, but with M instead of tab for some reason, I don't know. Um, they wanna leave, they can, doesn't bother us. The amount of streams, it's just been yeah, me and you. Yeah, really, honestly. Uh, I, I don't mind at all. I'm, I'm not, like I said, like I always keep saying every other stream, I'm not looking for followers. It's nice to have. It's nice to have these friends, um, but it's not necessary. I'm not looking. I'm not searching for them. I'm not advertising to people. It's like, hey, you know, you should you should follow me. Look how close I am to, you know, 50. Like, ooh, like, no, I'm not advertising or anything like that. I'll throw an occasional Twitter post once in a while of, okay, hey, guess who's playing? Guess what I'm doing? But other than that, I don't even advertise the stream, so I'm just glad to have you guys. Honestly, if, if somebody finds me doing something, then good on them. Hopefully they enjoy my content, but otherwise, uh, I'm just here to have a good time, you know. Here to have a good time, not a long time, or maybe both, who knows. <laughs> uh, I'm here a lot too. Yes, you are, Simmering. I'm very happy to have you uh, coming back to me. Coming back to us, the community, the family, the cult. <laughs> Very glad to have you guys. You're at 76. Wow, Jesus. How many do I have right now? I'm actually going to follow this Emperor Fabian guy, by the way. Uh, props to him for being, like, on here for so long. My God. Oh, God, an advertisement popped up. Gosh, gosh dang it. Um, let me go over here to... Uh, where is it? Live. <laughs> join us, join us, join us. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Simmering, it's been it's been an absolute pleasure having you on board for these streams. I'm very happy, very happy that you've been able to make it to some of these. Um, so thank you very much for joining me. Seriously, it's it's been absolute bonkers to to see so many familiar faces popping up left and right like every stream just you know people who 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 probably have much better to do <laughs> honestly like, there's so much more to do in the world and you guys are following me my goodness but um all joking aside though i'm very happy to have you guys on board um but yeah uh and of course like i said i will help out with anybody who wants to grow as well i'm very happy to try to help the best I can. Um, let me check something real quick as well. No, I don't want to ban you, Jesus. Yeah, you have 76, yeah, my goodness. And then I have, how many do I have? I have 43. Yeah, I officially have 43, but on the, on the friend goal right there, it says 44. So I need to change that. Uh, I've seen you move three different layouts. I'm going to be experimenting with a fourth one here pretty soon, um, only to advertise for a little bit. Because um, every time I, I make a new uh, layout, I try to um, do a, a stream of it uh, just to test it out and you know see what people like about it. And uh, if I have to move stuff around and then, you know, I can sell it afterwards, you know. Um, but I have, a, well, I think, two different designs uh, currently in motions right now that I'll have to experiment with before they're released. Um, but I do sell on Etsy if people are interested uh, in some, you know, free, no, not free, definitely not free. Let's not say free now. I actually would like a little bit of money here. <laughs> um, but I, if anyone would like to look around some Etsy designs, I, I'm out there for sure. Um, the the uh, the amount of button designs are actually getting pretty intense nowadays. Um, I don't think I have everything. Um, I don't think I have everything updated. But let me see here real quick. Uh, let me go over to Twitch, 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 Twitch. Uh, designs for all. And right, then let me pop this over here real quick so you guys can see it. Um, and then what is it, display capture? Yeah, so these are all of the panels that I have created so far. Um, I haven't sold all of these yet as far as styles. I think I'm only selling uh, this one right here and then boom, 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 boom. So those um, three rounded, uh, rounded corner ones I'm having 
or four, yeah, those four rounded corner ones I'm selling, plus the uh, the command one right here. But other than that, I haven't uh, put the Sunrise one up yet. I haven't uh, propped up Retro Memories. Um, sortation, I think, is going to be a premium, uh, a premium one, which means that's going to be... Yeah, so th I'm probably going to sell Melody Menu by itself, and then Sortation is going to be a premium, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so premium ones are ones that are included with a panel pack, basic, or not panel pack, but uh, Twitch pack. So in this case, um, yeah, see, I'm selling that one, I'm selling that one. Um, and then with, was it Kingdom Hearts 2, I believe? No, it's Kingdom Hearts 1, sorry. Yeah, this is the one that I was working on. That you guys actually saw me uh, use uh, a while back when I was still at the old place. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm selling this one as well. So this one I think is like $15 something for everything. So you have this right here. You have the live chats, which can be moved around. You have two camera sizes right here. A little command menu if you want to fool around with that. This is for uh, the followers, donations, subscribers. You have 20 panels. You have seven big alerts, seven small alerts. Uh, and then you have one, two, three, four different um, scenes as well. So fooling around with that. Uh, and then there is one little thing that I, I have been experimenting with. Uh, and it's this right here. Nice little screen layout. I'm not sure what you guys think of this. Um, but I'm heavily enjoying how this looks so far. Um, I'm, I'm very curious, actually, what you guys think of this. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm still building it, obviously. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to put here. This is going to be a little uh, slot for something. It might be for followers. I'm not sure. Um, or, like, latest donation. I'm probably going to have three different panels that I can just kind of move around the screen. So this will probably be right here. So this little panel right here. This will probably be one right here, and then one right here, so three of them. I'm not quite sure, but I might move it around. I might have a flipped version as well, in case I want to put it to the left-hand side as well. Um, and then as far as a camera, I'll have to figure out a camera frame as well, uh, for both the 4, 3, and the, um, yeah, the 4, 3 dimension, and then the other dimension. I forget what the other one is. I'm, I'm falling asleep. Uh, you like it? Hey, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. I'm glad. So I'm, ex I'm experimenting heavily with these, but yeah, I, I'm I'm loving the, the amount of stuff you can do with Photoshop these days. I, I, I very much like how, how this is kind of turning out so far. Um, and then the panels, I don't think... Yeah, the panels are just... Uh, panels for this one is probably going to be the premium one here, but I'm probably going to change it up a bit as well. But um, yeah. There's, just, there's so much you can do here. And of course, the uh, I, I, I actually had so much fun working on the Yakuza one. Um, I'm working on one for Judgment right now. Um, I think all I have right now is just uh, one of the panels, which is this. And I think that's it that I have right now for that. But um, as far as the finished one, though, the Yakuza 5 one, I had so much fun making this one. Uh, this was uh, the Haruka theme, so I'm trying to do um, one theme for each of the main playable characters. Um, so, of course, I haven't done Kiryu, I haven't done um, the other ones. <laughs> god, I, I completely forgot all the other characters' names, my god. Um, but yeah, so same thing as before, you get 20 panels here. You have seven um, alerts right here. You have different multiple camera sizes that you can fool around with. Um, both with the camera tab and without the camera tab. You have latest follower, latest donation for people who don't care about subscriptions or, uh, or too small to get subscriptions. Um, then you just have the follower and donation. I did not make one for subscriptions, but I could probably make like a green one um, to kind of go in between the colors. I uh, forgot Majima. Majima is not a playable character. That's a thing. He's not a playable character in uh, 5. Um, that I know of. I haven't finished 5 yet, so I don't know. I'm only halfway through it. 
Um, but for each character, I do want to do a theme of theirs. And so far, Haruka's is this one. I'm I'm having so I, I had so much fun making this one. Um, I especially I, I just I love these. I, I love how these came out. They're so freaking like neato. Um, but yeah, there's that, and then you have the um, intermission screen right here, which is basically uh, what this is right here. This is the intermission. So that's that. Latest subscriber, donation, follower right here. In case you do want to pop up uh, follow, uh, subscribers on here, um, you have the big ol' screen over here. So, yeah. Oh, and of course, the, um, the multitude of little panels here. You have your stream paused. We'll be right back. The stream is ending soon. Thank you for joining. The stream is initializing or starting soon. Please, uh, preparing the following scenes. And then stream is offline. Follow for stream updates. So, yeah. Um, I thought you meant Yakuza main characters in general. No, I didn't. But um, I'm very curious. What would I? How would I design a Majima one? I'll have to take a look uh, back at Zero and take a look at some of his stuff and and see how I go. I'll either switch over to Zero or switch over to Kiwami 2 because those two are playable. Um, I'm very curious to see what I could do with those, you know? But yeah. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and call it a night here. Went on a little bit of a tangent there at the end, but hey, once you get creative, you know, you, you start getting stuck in there, you know? Um... Oh, and of course, real quick, <laughs> this was another one as well. Um, this is actually one I've already done. This was for uh, Beardly Niji. Uh, he's the, my roommate, but he's also a, a streamer as well. Um, and I did these little pan, this little pa uh, panel combo form as well. Uh, a whole bunch of little tiny things, especially a little thing here. The art is mine, by the way. So this is my art style right here. This is this is what I'm capable of. Um, it's not this version of him is not finished. It's still very rough sketch around the edges, um, especially this hand arm, a little bit of the armor right here. But um, yeah, this is my artwork. So this is actually his his character. Um, this is minus the hair. He no longer he's bald now, unfortunately. So the the blue is not uh, something that that is his anymore. But um, this is the character design of his of the character that's based off of him in my own personal game so hey there you go um but yeah so just little fun things there there you go so you can see his character in full here there you are Had a lot of fun designing him i think i've already changed up a few things i changed the design in his, in his hair i believe lately um hold on actually where is it Models, there you go. Models, uh, new models. Did I put out the new one for Niji? There it is. Yeah. So this one's been updated ever so slightly. Because before, it was this. So you can kind of tell, you know. The, the main differences here. He used to have a list, this little thing right here. Um, and then this was the old one. The very first version of his character that I, I made like five, six years ago. <laughs> so it was okay, but I was stuck on line art. And now I'm, I'm doing sketch work, which is so much better. His character, his face, his facial, uh, you know, his facial bone structure and stuff just it looks a lot better his hands are cleaner um his figure is a little bit more trim which is nicer um more realistic on the chest and the stomach of course um and then yeah that's slowly boom 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 like that looks in my opinion it's definitely a glow up for sure i had a lot of fun with working on this but one of these days we'll get into this kind of stuff later on but Anyways, switch over here. I'm going to have to say my good nights now. Simmering, you have a good rest of your night. I'm glad you could make it to the stream. Hopefully, I'll see you on Tuesday. Uh, 
Aiden, you have a good rest of your night as well. Thank you for popping up on the stream. Very, very much enjoyed our, our conversations tonight, especially about the uh, the time travel and whatnot. Looney, love good. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, very much appreciate it. Thank you for your contribution to the friend goal and welcome to the friendship slash the cult. So thank you very much. Um, I don't know if anybody's streaming right now, so unfortunately, uh, we'll just have to see if if my channel automatically hosts somebody else once I'm gone. Um, I do auto host about five or six different people, so it might change on automatically to somebody else if they are streaming. But I don't think anyone's streaming currently. So, but um, yeah, other than that, uh, y'all have a good rest of your night, and uh, hopefully, I will see you guys uh, very very soon. Other than that, I'm going to bed. <laughs> uh, all right. Y'all have a good rest of your night. Bye.